Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Visio. In this module, I want to have a look at how you can create or save pictures from a Visio diagram. So first of all, I'm on this template where you've got the, the chart in shapes. I just want to bring a shape on, a pie chart. I'm going to change this to five segments. OK. Now you set the sizes on these charts by right clicking and then you can set the sizes. So they're all on 20, so I'll go um, 35, 15, and 25, so that's 75, and 15 and 10, unless my maths is wrong. Okay, to that. So that's great. Now, the problem you've got with this is in Excel, I will just be able to split this apart and pull a, pull a segment out and show you, show you um, a particular segment and give focus to that segment. But in this, um, even if I go onto the developer tab and unlock everything through protection, take all this off, none. Okay. Still can't pull things apart. It's still one item. So if I copy this, so I'll just do control C and put that into a PowerPoint file, this one, and get myself a blank slide so I don't get any text boxes and just paste that. Let's see what I can do now. So if I right click and group, ungroup, this is an imported picture, not a group. Do you want to convert it? Yes. So I've converted it, what can I do? Now I've got to ungroup it, I think. Group, ungroup. Now we get a bit of a mess, so we've got to be careful here. Click away. I just want to pull this segment out like that. And then you see what you've got there is you've got the actual border line around the edge of it still sitting there, which I can't actually click on. Well, it's, it's probably underneath all of these segments, but if I pull the segment right out, push that back in, like so, and then just highlight that, copy all of that, and put it back into Visio. And then you might be sitting there saying, what's the point of all that? That's just to achieve this pulled out segment. However, you could have done all that in PowerPoint, Word or Excel, and then just copied and pasted it in. So if I go into Excel, got a graph there, I can just copy and paste that. Copy, so I could do paste special, um, but I don't want to just paste it in. It's already got the segment there. Then it comes in like so, but that is an, an object now. So if I double click on that, Eventually, you can see it's gone into Excel, so I can edit that in Excel, and that's going to use more memory up. Click away from that, I don't want that. Get rid of that. So that's basically how you can start to ungroup some of these shapes that you might find quite useful, but unable to do anything. Now, I've got a template just to show you how detailed that ungrouping would be. So this is a template. So there's quite a lot of information there. So if I do control A and control C and drop that into PowerPoint, get yourself a separate slide, and then do the same thing, right click, group in, ungroup, yes. Now what I've got here is, if I click off that, individual elements that I can pull apart. Not something I would do on a day-to-day -day basis, but if you have to do it for a particular diagram, because you want just little bits of it, it could be a, a machine tool or a machine itself, you can actually pull it apart. And good luck trying to put it all back together. So let's move that off there so I can get this windscreen. And you can do it also with the text boxes. They come apart. So everything comes apart once you've ungrouped it. 
and then it, as we're in PowerPoint, all of these, although I've made a mess on this one, all of these can be animated individually. So if it's a simple diagram and you pull, you know, you pull this one apart and it's just like this as it is now, you could animate that and it would come in as a normal chart. Um, get rid of that one. So back to Visio. And just to recap what we've done there, we created a graph and same with these bars. If I have to do another one, let's do five. Let's okay to that. So we've got five bars. Now, because this is the percent one, um, when you type on this, unless you do the percent symbol, it goes absolutely huge on you. So if I highlight this, do the same, let's see what this looks like when I copy, put into PowerPoint, just paste on there. And then you can ungroup this. Ungroup, yeah. Ungroup the whole thing, that's it. So I'll click on that. We'll pull that apart, whatever you want. Like so, so everything comes apart. So that's basically how you can get things into another program, in this case, PowerPoint to ungroup them. But you can also, if I go back into Visio, you can just save, if I want this, if I do the control A again and control C, if I go back into PowerPoint and get myself a new slide, I might want to just save this as a picture. So I've pasted it, right click, save as picture, and then you can save this as a picture. So I'll call it cars and I'll put it into my documents, save. So now that is a picture, I didn't bother on grouping it. So any word, not word, Visio diagram, See so if I've got another one. Just have a look at the templates. A more complicated one. That one looks a bit more complicated. Create that. This is simple. Control A, Control C, Control V. Right click. Save as picture. Visio fill in. In documents. save and then that's a, a picture which you know you can ungroup if you want to but you might just want this to sit in PowerPoint as a picture like that and have it available in Word as a picture so if I go into Word create a new document insert a picture this device documents and then I should be able to get either of those pictures so Visio drawing was a more complicated one but there you go looks okay it's just like any other picture so just to recap what we've done there we've copied and pasted diagrams and bits of diagrams into other programs PowerPoint ungrouped them and saw how messy that can be we've linked a Excel chart back into Visio which is probably what I would do if I wanted it in Visio. And then we've saved the diagram itself as a picture so you can bring it into other programs. So that's all I wanted to cover on this little session. So hopefully you've enjoyed that. Thank you for your time.